Uh, you are getting the same stories mm-hmm. from now until it ends. Yeah. And just understand that. Yeah. Our lives stopped happening the second this started. It's a, it's yeah. what, what uh, eternal recurrence. The right? second the second the show made enough money that I could afford my four hundred dollar rent, because I was deluding myself. There was like a couple months there where I'm like, I'm putting all of this money in savings, and I'm keeping my day job, and I'm just gonna. And then yeah, like, you wanted to stay on the truck, and then I bought PlayStation. And I was like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be doing that. That sounds yet. gay, actually. Yeah. You, but you, like, periodically have, like, like uh, I designs did, on getting a I, working man job. I did you actually. You wanted to work at the Volvo dealership. I did actually keep the the truck job for months. Yeah, you were doing it for a while. For a while. Yeah, actually, I continued doing those jobs for, like, a year after. Yeah. But. Yeah. I did. I thought about that, plan. too. But then I was like, well, I think we talked about this last week. You did the. Ma- you do the math on how much a regular job pays, <laughs> and you're like, "What the fuck?" Mm-hmm. I'm not working at a grocery. I wanted to work at a grocery store to get l- l- lunch meats on discount. When was this? When you moved to New York? It was probably yeah. Well, doing doing the the truck jobs is like sometimes it's just nice to be in a production environment. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is. It's you know gets you out of the house. Yeah, the jobs are fun. Usually, you see something different every time. Yeah, but and yeah. they pay a lot. It's it, when you do have the out of being like, well, I don't need to do this. It's very easy to not. Do. I mean, it's very easy to not do anything. I love not doing anything like the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely, brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember one of those jobs. They called Nick up and you called me and you were like, hey, they just uh, they told me that, you know, you have to dress like you want a future in the film industry tomorrow. <laughs> And I was like, Nick, are you going to do that? He's like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that job sucked, and that guy was a dickhead. Yeah. That's the problem. Is like sometimes you do, for the most part, doing that job, the people that you're, like, answering to used to also drive the trucks right, and work right, their way up. Right, right, right. But sometimes it's just, because the people that are, like, directors or whatever, usually they're, like, fucking either NYU or something. Yeah. They're people that are like 48 years old and dress like they're 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they just like fucking were handed this like bullshit commercial director life. Uh huh. Right. Because commercial directors don't actually direct. It's always the client. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they really do anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's always like the the fucking bullshit like marketing person at the company that's like, that's like, like running the show. Commercial directors kind of just like stand there and. But yeah, that one we Sounds both like a good job. That yeah, one we both bad. did was fucking insane. That guy was like asking me to like pay for parking for the truck out of pocket. What? And you know, and he's like, oh, "I'll reimburse you." Was and that the like, one at Chelsea Piers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it took him months to 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 get payment, but then the reimbursement payment. It's like this is fucking completely unacceptable. Yeah. yeah. We should find him and fuck him up. I got in trouble for staying around craft services for too long on that job. What were you, What were you eating? I was just like e- eating all day. Respect. Yeah. yeah. As you should. That's that's who it's for. Right. That's who that food is for. I know. <laughs> Not the people that are going to go out anyways and have a six thousand dollar dinner <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, it was like I was so broke. At so, the uh, time. Yeah, you had too many grapes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's like there's no understanding. Yeah. Like it really. I mean, it really is. People should have to go to a labor prison camp for like. There should be some kind of re-education. Eight months minimum. Yeah. I mean, like, and that is, people did used to have a concept of, like, everyone should have a summer job. Right, right fucking yeah. 15 or 16, you should be working at McDonald's or something. Yeah, yeah. or so pushing carts at the supermarket. Doing something that yeah. sucks dick so you know how much that sucks. And there should be some kind of social credit system or surveillance state that monitors. <laughs> I mean, really, no, like all of all of like your phone calls to customer service departments, mm. they should go into some kind of like statewide monitoring thing. And if you ever like fucking lose your shit in a way that's unwarranted, yeah, at somebody that works in a call center, they should check your file. You go right back to the labor camps, yeah, mm. and then you have to do a year uh-huh. the labor camps, which are just the call centers. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, so you it's a never come. ending system. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it's a perfect engine. That's very equitable. It's the I most like. it's a beautiful engine. Like in uh, uh Snowpiercer. It's gonna be cool in thirty years when we all just have to learn like broken Chinese and we all get call center jobs doing technical support for <laughs> the Chinese sex robots that they're all married to over there. 
<laughs> they just they <laughs> like, us. Uh, Ni Hao Xing uh, Xing Wang Hui. <laughs> Some guy's just yelling at you yeah, in Chinese. Like, Boy, I win! I win! The pussy doesn't work! <laughs> just, uh, speak Chinese, yeah. you fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Subtitles. <laughs> like, uh, That's not your real fucking name. I am very sorry. Your name's not really fuck boy. <laughs> yeah. Your name is <laughs> fuck boy. <laughs> Your name is Nick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably got a, a weird name. <laughs> like John or Eric. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fuck boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. It would be that would be a nice act of like quiet rebellion is we're forced into just answering phones for Chinese sex robot companies, but you get to pick your name. Oh yeah. And you get <laughs> you <have any> <laughs> uh my name is uh fuck ding dongs. My name is Ching Chong Bing Bong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the most <laughs> racist <laughs> shit you could possibly think of. <laughs> that's, right that's that's how we resist. <laughs> They're like, okay, Ching Chong Bing Bong <laughs> <laughs> and fucking every time you answer the phone you go thanks for calling thanks for the support my name's Ching Chong Bing Bong how can I help you <laughs> and that's that's like our field hollers yeah. that's our amazing grace yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ching Go Ching Bing Bong Ching Chong Ching Bing Bong Ching Chong Bing Bong Ching Chong <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong, ching chong. <laughs> it's all yeah, AAV. And, and, they, and they all AAV they, uh, started off as like an Africans doing a racist impression of the English language. <laughs> <laughs> like this is how stupid they sound, <laughs> and it's just an approximation. And then that's yeah. how it became what it is. Well, I like we cracked the code. Yeah, I like to go back to the ching chong bing bong thing. At some point, they go, <laughs> they try and get us all to stop, and they're like. Which one of you here is Ching Chong Bing Bong? <laughs> and then it's like Spartacus, yeah. where it's like, I am Ching Chong Bing Bong. I am Ching Chong Bing Bong. <laughs> and we all get crucified yeah. for our beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to resist. <laughs>